Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Drop Plug Reviews. Today I have the Nike Dunk Low Pink Corduroy. Now before we dive into this review, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Give us a follow and a thumbs up. If you want to buy this shoe, it's available right now on dropplug.com and also on the app, both available on the App Store and the Android Store. Lastly, at the end of this video, I'm going to drop a discount code available for the first 10 users. So make sure to stay to the end and copy that discount code and have access to buy any sneaker at a discount online. Now let's get started with this review. As you know, the dunk hike is not as high as it was in 2020, but Nike's trying their best to revive it with the vintage aesthetics in this corduroy pink foam sneaker. Now, why did Nike go with this colorway and why did Nike choose these materials? The goal is to give its users or its consumers that nostalgic feel of what back in the day when you had your grandmother's blanket or that corduroy old school blankets that we all used to have at some point in our lives that provided some kind of warmth. That's what they're trying to go for. That's the kind of idea they had behind creating this sneaker. I think they executed it pretty well. The materials are nice for the most part. And just from a basic look, they did a pretty good job putting this sneaker together. Only time will tell how these will look as you wear them and obviously get them dirty, all the elements get on them. But so far, just from a brand new, right out of the box look, I think the sneaker looks perfect. So starting off with the box, the sneaker comes in a regular Nike Dunk box, just a orange color with the Nike symbol on top. And as you open it, the sneakers are sitting there perfectly fine with just your regular packaging. Um, nothing special about this packaging. Again, it's just a high volume sneaker. From the first look, you have the base of the sneaker, which is a white base. Again, this is really popular amongst Dunks, the white base colorway. Another good touch is that the sneaker comes with pink laces. I wish it came with an alternative white. I think that'll honestly look slightly better on the sneaker so it's not too much pink going on. But overall, the pink laces do a great job complementing the colorways of the sneaker. And then you also have a white tongue with a pink tag on top of it. You have the pink foam colorway in combination with the white base. But the pink section is made out of the corduroy material. For those of you that are unfamiliar with corduroy, it is made by weaving an extra set of fibers into the base of a fabric to form vertical ridges called whales. So that's how they're able to come up with this. One thing I do appreciate with Nike is that they didn't cheapen out on using the corduroy around the sinker. Um, I've seen it before with some brands using leather or certain height higher quality or high cost materials on just a few portions of the sneaker just to cut costs but nike did a good job using it necessarily around the sneaker. now here's both of the sneakers together you can see the left and right pair and yeah there's they're pretty much identical again these are not made by hand so you're not going to see a lot of discrepancies between pairs like you'll see in the higher end models or higher end sneakers this sneaker retails for 110 dollars uh before taxes right now the resale market is around 140 at the lowest to about 200 plus depending where you buy it from again different stores are gonna have their different prices based off location demand the price they purchased this at whether they purchase it during a high time in the market or lower time, prices are always gonna vary. So you're not gonna get the same price from, let's say StockX and some store, some brick and mortar store in the, in the mall. So that's what's the differentiating factor about the price of, these, of this sneaker. Now let's get started with the drop score. This is our method of rating sneakers from a scale of zero to 10 being the highest based off of several factors, such as the cool factor, the quality, the price, the resale value, colorway, and availability. We score each respective category from a scale of one to five, obviously one being the lowest, five being the highest. At the end, we give it a total between zero to 10, as I previously stated. So starting off with the cool factor, I gave this sneaker, a th this sneaker scored a three in cool factor. The reason being is, yes, it's a cool colorway, but it's not an SB, it's not a special one-off collab. 
the materials are a little bit different, which makes it somewhat attractive to the original consumer. But overall, it's just your typical dunk. And it's not like a high in demand color other than having the white base. So I gave that a three in cool factor. So it's a mid-level average cool factor. Quality, I gave it a four mainly because the materials used are definitely high quality materials you're not seeing any um the, obviously the, the materials are cheap we're not going to say we're not, nike's not going to spend hundreds of dollars on leather but overall the construction of the sneaker is pretty nice just from the pair i have alone i don't see any glue marks no creases no scuffs nothing it's a really good sneaker there's a few loose threads here and there but that's just because of the corduroy i can't really blame them for that again these shoes cost like maybe two to five dollars to make so you can't really expect the greatest thing out of the quality so i'll give it a four for the most part price i give it a five any sneaker that's below 150 is a good buy and for this one i it's at 110 dollars i can't blame them i give them a five for it i think it's a perfect sneaker for what you're getting. Resale value. This one, I give it a three. If you're a reseller, you're probably going to make, I'll say lunch money off of this pair. Don't, you're not gonna buy this and expect to, you know, pay off some bills. This is just a high volume sneaker. I recommend getting maybe 10 plus pairs of these. That way, when you make $20 per, you can at least go home with some decent amount of money. But obviously, this is not a, uh, a rare or special sneaker. So the resale value is gonna range from anywhere between 20 to $40, just depending again on your market, who you're selling to, who's willing to pay the premium for the sinker and how people value it as a whole. Colorway, I give it a five. Again, this is a really nice colorway. And as we know, base, white bases with dunks are a must go to. And this has it, it has all the fixings for a perfect dunk. Um, I think pink obviously may be a, a deciding factor for specific types of audiences, maybe men that don't want to wear pink or women that are not into pink. So because it's such a bold color, it may lose a few uh, a, a few consumers just because of the colorway. But overall, I think the colorway is pretty nice, so I give it a five. And lastly, availability. So this sneaker is available in store. You can still buy it at retail, just depends where you are getting it at. So for that, I give it a three. Um, obviously if the sneaker was sold out everywhere, there's no way you can get your hands on it. It'll be a five, but just because of its accessibility, depending how lucky you are, the constant restocks Nike's having, you will have an opportunity to touch these in your size or maybe in different sizes. So again, if you're a consumer, always look around, see if you can get it at retail because retail is always better. Obviously, if you're a reseller, likewise, find any size you can get and try to do quick flips in your local area. If you don't have them available as a consumer online, you can always feel free, shop on dropplug.com and use the code Pink Corduroy Review for $30 off this sneaker. Again, only available for the first 10 people to claim this discount code. Overall, the total for the drop score is a 7.6, which gives this sneaker a silver rating, which means it's right below gold, and right above bronze, it's a mid-tier sneaker. Um, again, this shouldn't deter you from buying the sneaker. I'm not saying that because of 7.6, you shouldn't buy it. At the end of the day, if you love the shoe, go get it, do whatever you want. But this is just based off of reseller, market research, and also how we view it as a consumer. So this takes in a lot of factors into account to be, create an unbiased score for the sneaker. So that's it with this pink corduroy review hope you guys enjoy it make sure to comment below what sneakers you want me to review next i'll be more than happy to take your comments and get these sneakers in-house so we can take a in-depth look into the sneaker as a whole hope you guys enjoy this review tune into our next video see you guys again peace out